Hi today guys. Well, today I thought I'd do something extra special and present to you guys a fun TV dinner review. Now, I've always loved TV dinners and I've always thought that they were a great snack or meal or anything like that at the end of a day or something you can take along to work with you if you have a microwave at work or maybe you're just out at a friend's house and you have a TV dinner and you know they cook you up something. It's all really fun and there's a wide variety of them. One that I've always really loved was Boston Market. These homestyle meals, really favorable. Um, as you can see, I have the box here already, and it's opened at the bottom. And uh, this one in particular is Swedish meatballs. I opened it at the bottom earlier just to um, un unseal it. And uh, this one contains 26 grams of protein. So you know you're really getting a bang for your buck. You're getting a good amount of protein. And uh, Boston Market really never fails to surprise me with how delicious it is. And uh, one particular meal that, that I um, carried out eating was a Salisbury steak with macaroni and cheese for a Boston Market, which is my personal favorite. And um, Swedish meatballs is, is really good too. It's a very unique dish, not one I would typically eat at a restaurant um, uh, as my first choice. But uh, these are really good and I pulled it off the shelf at Walmart and I, I thought it'd be a great, great, um, great meal. This one contains a really fun just delightful. If you're a sour cream fan, you'll know that um, this one contains a sour cream sauce, which is very favorable um, in my opinion. As you can see from the instructions, pretty basic. Peel back film to, film to vent. Cook on high for three and a half minutes. Stir and recover. Cook again on high. Let stand one to two minutes. And that kind of just lets it cook and simmer in the microwave and complete cooking. Because sometimes it's good uh, to go the natural route and just let, let something simmer for a bit. Um, after being exposed to intense heat or microwaves. Uh, for conventional oven purposes, I will be using a microwave, but for conventional oven, oven purposes, um, pretty low temperature, you just preheat your oven to 350, peel back film to vent. Place tray on baking sheets in a rack, of course, because these are made of plastic that it can be sturdy enough for an oven. Bake again, eight minutes after baking, 30 minutes, stirring and recovering, and then enjoy. Well, as you can see here, I've unboxed the pre-frozen meal, the Swedish meatballs for Boston Market, and I'm fairly impressed. There seems to be a really good amount of sauce in there and uh, a good amount of noodles for carbohydrates and just filling up, and um, the sauce I, I bet will be really good after I microwave it. And I count about uh, five or so meatballs in there, which is really great, um, very filling. I'll get back to you. As you can see, I'm microwaving it now, and microwaves never really cease to fail to amaze me. Um, one route would be good with the oven, and uh, baking it would provide a different kind of texture, but I'm sure it would still be a, a similar texture of food if I did uh, bake it in an oven as opposed to a microwave. But for this t particular dish, I thought I would just uh, use a cheating system that uh, a friend of mine taught me once, and instead of uh, doing it for three and a half minutes, stirring it after taking it out of the microwave, then putting it back in and cooking an additional two minutes, I decided to use this trick where I would just add up the amount of minutes and cook it all together in one stop. Look at those microwaves go in four, three, two, one. It is definitely a given, this sauce, after removing the film, smells very, very good. And I've mixed it up a little bit and I think I'm going to throw on some salt and just to give you guys a quick taste test. I am very hungry for these Swedish meatballs and I will uh, very much enjoy consuming the whole dish in one sitting for sure. I am indeed very prone to adding things like hot sauce and tainting my meatballs and my noodles with things like hot sauce or even sometimes mayonnaise is a great additive just for a really basic texture. But here I've kept it very simple and just added a little dash of salt, one or two. Fortunately, I have here with me my trusty coffee and cool tea mixture to help me down it. And I'll go ahead and start with the first meatball here. Mmm. I was told once to definitely chew a good amount of times um, for your own digestive system's sake. But uh, with these meatballs, they're just so scrumptious, I really feel, despite the heat of them, after coming out of the microwave, that it really only takes me about seven or eight chews to really chomp it down and 
disassemble the meatball, which means they're definitely very juicy and uh, enjoyable in that regard. I definitely am tasting a little bit of the breading involved with the whole sausage. And uh, the pepper is very astounding for the whole meatball. Here you can see, despite the sour cream sauce, some of those little peppery, peppery sprinkles on there. Little shades of pepper and darkness. And uh, definitely something I'd love to dig into for this meal. With noodles included. Those meatballs really make the whole dish guaranteed. Well, I'm going along here digging more into this meal and I found out that, without a doubt, this is made with non-fat milk. Very enjoyable. and helps the smooth flavor of the noodles altogether in the production of the noodles. I really enjoy just the shape of these noodles and they really do uh, go down the gullet quite quick. Not only are these pork sausages, or meatballs, so to say, they include beef, too, which I really enjoy. Of course, the whole product is covered in sauce, so that makes it much more enjoyable. definitely going to enjoy finishing this. Due to being a huge salt adventurer and uh, just loving my sodium, I definitely needed a quick few swigs of my drink to help my meal go down. But overall it was very enjoyable. I am very full now and I uh, think I would buy it again and make that purchase of several of these Swedish Meatball Boston Market TV dinners for sure. I would make that purchase again without a doubt. And uh, for this particular purchase, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Thumbs up. Definitely a big thumbs up. I think that this rating system will be good for me. And uh, yeah, definitely something I would buy again. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and night.